Hey everybody, this is Brijesh here, और आप देख रहे हैं CAB Inventory. क्या आप जानते हैं लगातार चुनाव में हार रही कांग्रेस के लिए और अब खुद गांधी फैमिली के लिए एक बड़ा झटका दिया है इनकम टैक्स डिपार्टमेंट ने क्या आप जानते हैं दोस्तों कि वो क्या है तो कमेंट करके बताइए जी हाँ दोस्तों आईडीएटी की दिल्ली बेंच ने अपने 570 पेजेस के इंपॉर्टेंट जजमेंट में वे आर इट वॉज डीलिंग विद ए केस वे आर यंग इंडियंस वॉज फ्लोटेड एज ए सेक्शन 25 कंपनी और उसका पर्पस ऑफ इनकॉर्पोरेशन वॉज एसोसिएटेड जनरल्स लिमिटेड दैट इज एलजे को अपने कब्जे में लेना था जिसके पास 420 करोड़ रुपए से अधिक की अचल संपत्ति थी विच वॉज हैविंग द फिक्स असेट्स ऑफ मोर देन 420 करोड़ रुपीस। तो इस वीडियो के अंत तक बने रहिए चैनल आपने सब्सक्राइब कर ही दिया होगा अगर आपने अभी तक इस चैनल को सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया है तो अभी सब्सक्राइब करके बेल आइकन को प्रेस कर दीजिए जिससे कि आगे आने वाले सारे इंपॉर्टेंट वीडियोस के अपडेट आपको टाइमली मिलते रहें असेसी दैट इज यंग इंडियंस वॉज इनकॉर्पोरेटेड विद द मेन ऑब्जेक्ट टू इनकल्ट्रेट इन द माइंड ऑफ इंडिया यूथ कमिटमेंट द आइडिया ऑफ ए डेमोक्रेटिक एंड सेक्युलर सोसाइटी फॉर इट्स एंटायर पॉपुलेंस विदाउट एनी डिस्टिंक्शन its registration under section 12 capital a was cancelled from inception by cit exemption as it was not carrying out any charitable activities shrimati sonia gandhi shri rahul gandhi shri motilal vora treasurer of the all india congress committee that is aicc and mr oscar fernandez were directors of young indian associated generals limited that is ajl a public limited company thi jo angrezi mein national herald hindi mein navjeevan aur urdu mein कौमी आवाज जैसे समाचार पत्र प्रकाशित करती थी लेटर द पब्लिकेशन बिजनेस वॉज सस्पेंडेड ड्यू टू फाइनेंशियल एंड लेबर प्रॉब्लम देयर आफ्टर इनकम ऑफ एजेएल वॉज मेनली फ्रॉम लेटिंग आउट वेरियस प्रॉपर्टीज हेल्थ इन डिफरेंट पार्ट ऑफ द कंट्री ऑल इंडिया कांग्रेस कमेटी had advanced a loan to ajl from time to time aggregating to rupees 90.21 crores the entire loan was transferred in favor of young indian for a consideration of rupees 50 lakh only the loan assigned to yi was later converted into shares of ajl and almost 99.99% of the share holding were transferred to young indian based on the information received from the investigation wing the assessing officer that is ao reopened the assessment of young indian under section 147 of the income tax act he computed the benefit or perquisite under section 28 subsection 4 in respect of the fair market value that is fmb of the immovable properties owned by agl in the hands of young indian delhi tribunal held 
that Young Indian was incorporated on 23rd November 2010 and the first step taken was the assignment of the loan of rupees 90.21 crores by AICC to Young Indian for a very paltry sum Bahati Mamuli Rashi of rupees 50 lakh Uske Turant Baat AGL ki entire shareholding is alerted in lieu of assignment of the loan of rupees 50 lakh the AGL whose publication business was suspended had income from commercial exploitation of the properties once young indian took over the entire company all the underlying assets had also been acquired a clear cut benefit had come to young indian in the form of assets owned by the agl agl ke swamitva wali sampatti ke roop mein young indian ko spasht lava mila tha the intention of the sse was never to take over the entire agl to run the publication business sse ka irada kabhi bhi प्रकाशन वेबसाइट चलाने के लिए कंप्लीट एजीएल को अपने हाथ में लेने का नहीं था एस पर सेक्शन 28.4 देयर शुड बी बेनिफिट और पर क्यू सेट वेदर कन्वर्टेबल इनटू मनी और नॉट अराइजिंग फ्रॉम बिजनेस और एक्सरसाइज ऑफ ए प्रोफेशन द यंग इंडियन वाज होल्डिंग more than 99% shares of AJL and after this adventure got complete control over these properties. Young Indian ke paas AJL ke 99% se adhik share the or after this adventure got complete control over these properties in sampattiyon par purnyantran prapt kar liya this benefit is nothing but a form of adventure and in the instant case the adventure is getting the huge underlying properties by the stroke of one transaction thus the ao rightly taxed the fmb that is fair market value of the properties acquired as business income in the hands of young Indian under section 28 subsection 4. The Delhi Tribunal quoted the decision of Delhi High Court in this order where the High Court had lifted the corporate veil after detailed observation wherein they have observed that when a corporate personality is being blatantly used for fraud or improper conduct or where the protection of interest is of paramount importance or where the company has been formed to evade obligation imposed under the law the corporate veil can be pierced. Honorable High Court have precisely noted these very transactions which came into the scanner of the authorities and held that if we see the transaction that has taken place in the present case with regard to how the transfer of shares between AJL and Young Indian took place. We find that within a period of three months, that is between 23rd November 2010 to 26 February 2011, Young Indian was constituted and took over right to recover a loan of more than rupees 90 crore from AICC 
for a consideration of rupees 50 lakh and thereafter replaced the original shareholders of Young Indian by four new entities including Sri Motilal Bora, chairman of AGL and Young Indian after acquiring 99% of the shares of AGL became the main shareholder with four of its shareholders acquiring the administrative right to administer the property of more than rupees 400 crores. In fact, Honorable High Court had gone to the extent of holding, we have uh, no hesitation in holding that entire transaction of transferring shares of, of AJL to Young Indian was nothing but a clandestine and suspicious transfer of the liquidated interest in the premises to Young Indian and it only indicates dishonest and fraudulent design behind this transaction. These are the very strong observation of Rebel Delhi High Court based on some material facts before them and transaction involved in this case. Thus, nothing is left to support the contention of the SSE the Delhi Tribunal held. Accordingly, Delhi Tribunal held the value of various properties including National Herald property at Delhi, Mumbai property, Panchkula property, Patna property and Lucknow property at rupees 358 crore. This is very important decision where it tried to plug the loophole of the law by change of management in a company. Huge assets held by company are transferred to new management without paying its market value and due taxes. So, now you have to understand what are the best practices which are adopted by Congress and its functionaries. Comment and tell us what are the best practices in This was decided in the case of Young Indian versus ACIT exemption 2022 137 taxmencom 12 by the Delhi Tribunal in ITA number 1251 stroke Dell stroke 2019 on 31st March 2022. So, I hope that you have told me this video that you have told me 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 that you आपको लगता है ये इनफॉरमेशन किसी और के काम आ सकती है तो इस वीडियो को शेयर जरूर कीजिए इसी तरह के वेरियस कॉम्प्लेक्स टॉपिक्स मैं सिंपलीफाई करता हूं इस YouTube चैनल CABA इंफोवेंट्री पर दोस्तों हम और आप मिलते हैं किसी और नए वीडियो में तब तक अपनी हेल्थ का और अपनी वेल्थ का अच्छे से ख्याल रखिए बाय बाय